James Gunn's Superman legacy movie. The information coming out about it is getting pretty weird pretty fast. I mean, I, I was always kind of skeptical about James Gunn doing a Superman movie. I, I really don't think he might be the right person to do Superman well. He usually tends to stick more to like the, you know, movies that have a little more of a gag in them. Don't get me wrong, guys. It's the Galaxy 3. It wasn't bad. It wasn't fantastic, but it wasn't bad. You know, but for him to be taking on the new helm at DC and creating an entire DC universe, it's got me skeptical. And the information that's coming out is a little more worrying than anything else. So let me go through what the info I've gotten and the info has come out, and maybe you can understand why I, I am skeptical about this going forward. Let's get into this article here for some deadline. Superman Legacy Nathan Fillion, Isabella Merced, and Eni Gathegi latest to join. These are the three of them here. Right? Warner Brothers has begun rounding out the cast for DC franchise resetter Superman Legacy. Studio co-chief Peter Safran has announced in a new piece with Vanity Fair with Nathan Fillion, Isabella Merced, and Eddie Gathini coming aboard. The fact that you know, start to, a, lot of people, a lot of people start to show up in this, in this movie that's supposed to be a Superman movie and it's got me a little worried, but all right. Cillian will portray Guy Gardner, one iteration of the superhero Green Lantern. Okay, now, we'll go through this one by one. For Nathan Fillion to be Guy Gardner is not something I think anybody saw coming. I mean, Nathan Fillion has done the voice of um, Hal Jordan in the animated um, Green Lantern um, project. So, one would kind of expect him to be doing, you know... Um, Hal Jordan, but Guy Gardner is a meathead. When you think about the Green Lantern call, honestly, Guy Gardner doesn't even come to mind for me unless somebody mentions him. Like I've always said, my top three Green Lanterns are Hal Jordan, Kyle Rayner, and um, the other one, oh, God, I forget the name of a certain boy, John Stewart, right, and John Stewart. That's so always my top three. Guy Gardner, you kind of have to wonder how he even got a ring. He's, he's, he's a hothead, he's a meathead, he, he doesn't act like a Green Lantern, things don't the other. I mean, it's kind of weird to have Nathan Fillion playing Guy Gardner. You're kind of more expecting to be playing, like, I don't know, Hal Jordan. Then you could say, well, all right, this kind of sounds a little bit more reasonable. Then they go on here. Um, we have... Um, Isabella Merkin playing Hawk Girl. Okay. I like Shaira Hall as much as anybody else. But honestly, Hawkman is kind of the better character out of the two. Yes, in Justice League, she was there and everybody liked her. I liked her in Justice League. Okay, no problem. But when you get down to the comics version of it, Hawkman is really always the better character. No matter how you try to swing it or you try to put it you know Hawkman is really always the better character I mean his backstory alone whether they decide to go with you know if he, he's a if he's an officer from Thanagar or he's reincarnated or whatever it's always a better cooler version when it comes to Hawkman it's always more, more of a brutal fighter more of a this you know his, his entire thing is more well-rounded Whereas Hawk Girl isn't bad, but she doesn't carry the same kind of weight when it comes to as Hawkman. So you kind of see that they're trying to push into things there, but it's just not working. And then they have Eddie Gathingy as Mr. Terrific. I don't know if he would be the right choice for Mr. Terrific because, I mean, I, I don't remember him. I think he was in the Twilight movies and stuff and things like that. But he's kind of skinny. You know, and Mr. Terrific is a big guy. I mean, yes, he's extremely smart and he has his T-SP and all that sort of thing. But he's also physically a large guy. So you kind of want these people to look like how you would expect them to look 
in the comics, but you're not really getting that. So it's kind of a weird choice, to be honest with you, a really weird choice to put him as Mr. Terrific. It's a weird thing to have um, to have Isabella Merced playing a hawk girl, and it's an even weirder choice to have Nathan Fillion playing Guy Gardner instead of instead of literal Hal Jordan. I mean, who even thinks? Who talks about who somebody thinks of the Green Lantern? The first Green Lantern name they call is never Guy Gardner. I don't even I don't think I don't even think anybody would call him in the top five, but it's just weird like that. Now it's not only that because what else we've also learned is that. The guy who, um, the actor from Barry, Anthony Carrigan, is going to be playing Metamorpho in Superman Legacy. Now, I remember him from Gotham. I think he um, played Victor Zaz, but he's playing Metamorpho. I mean, why the hell would you put Metamorpho into a Superman Legacy movie? Uh, that doesn't seem to make any kind of sense to me. I mean, don't get me wrong, Metamorpho is a pretty cool character, you know, very interesting. I love that, but. Metamorpho is kind of like somebody you would bring in, maybe like, I, I don't know, like maybe in phase three or four, if you want to go down that road, then you could bring in Metamorpho after you've kind of established something and you're moving forward. Then you could do this. But like I said, there's a lot of people that are moving parts ending up in this thing. I mean, we have Anthony Kerrigan playing Metamorpho. We also have these three playing Guy Gardner, Hawk Girl, and Mr. Terrific. I got a lot of people crying, playing the book crammed in to a Superman movie. I mean, you could imagine if you had, if, if they had this something like this, like, let's say with, um, with the Iron Man movie. When they, when they first, when they, when they said they had the first Iron Man movie, which was really kind of, really kind of establishing the MCU. It was, it was basically about Iron Man. That, 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 that's what people came to see, that's what people enjoyed. I still say that whole dog fight with the, with the Raptors was probably one of the, one of the best cinematic um, scenes they, they ever did. But you could imagine if they had like, you know, in, in the first Iron Man movie, they put in like, I don't know, Rocket Raccoon and Groot or Squirrel Girl. I mean, that would have been like, you would have been like, what the hell is this crap? You have to pace yourself to get it done. But it seems James Gunn is in a rush to shove pretty much everybody could think of into these movies and I doesn't it makes you wonder how this is going to work out well if you were wondering how this is going to work out we've got a bit of a a bit of news coming out a, a bit of a, a so-called leak from James Gunn's kind of arch nemesis um Grace Randall if you want to call her that she's come up with a scoop of What's going to happen in Superman Legacy? Now, this should be taken with, with, with a grain of salt, but if it is true, it sounds an awful lot like another DC movie that failed miserably. Let's get into it. All right. Um, let's see where we get it into here where she has it. Okay. So this is what Grace Randolph had to say. Superman Legacy. This is just group on it. Conflict in Middle East. Superman wants to stop it one way, other heroes disagree. Lex Luthor is also trying to negotiate peace his own way. The authority was a misdirect, but it's actually a JSA type team for the original JSC. So, what you're saying is that there's a conflict in the Middle East where Superman wants to stop it one way, but the other heroes disagree. Also, we have um, Lex Luthor trying to negotiate some kind of peace thing in his own way and you know the, the, the whole thing about this all well, how the authority was going to be in with Mr. Rekha some kind of JSA type team that's going to stop it I don't know about anybody else but that sounds an awful freaking lot like Black Adam that sounds exactly exactly like Black Adam movie you understand me and let's not forget Dwayne Johnson's Black Adam movie failed miserably and, and then you know they had to get rid of him. So if this turns out to be true, if this scope turns out to be true, and this is exactly what this is actually about, it makes you wonder what the hell is really going on. So um, if this info is legit, it sounds like some 
sort of war breaks out in the Middle East and Superman responds, but so does the JSA, with, which consists of Miss uh, of um, Hawk Girl, Mr. Terrific, and Guy Gardner, the Green Lantern, along with um, Anthony Carrigan as Metamorpho. However, Superman and the JSA butt heads or even clash over how Superman intends to handle things. That sounds exactly like the plot for Black Adam. A little, a little tweak here, and they were pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, they didn't even say it here. Again, they sound pretty much exactly like Black Adam, where Black Adam is swapped out for David Corrin, sweat Superman. Yeah, yeah, boy. I don't know. Why are they doing these things? It doesn't make sense. Well, again, as I say, if this turns out to be true, this does not bode well for the starting point for Superman Legacy and James Gunn's new iteration of it. Because nobody's going to be interested in this. You may very well drive people out of the cinemas if this turns out to be true. If you want to do a Superman movie, there are ways you can do it and make it interesting. But the fact that you keep wanting to, you know, pile in as many people into the movie as possible and then pretty much and pretty much if this school turns out to be true make it a basic ripoff of black adam it's already dooming yourself out the door so like i said earlier things are getting pretty weird for superman legacy but we gotta wait and see because this i think phil will supposed to start early next year and then we will see how this turns out but you know, it might be delayed with this whole strike in going on in Hollywood, which is pretty much shut down now, but we go see. It's still getting weird in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, should I hit that thumbs up? Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. You'll notify every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.